The new buildings going up in downtown L.A., parking spaces are dwindling and they're getting expensive. But investigative reporter David Goldstein's hidden cameras found one L.A. City employee who found a way to get parking for free. In the struggle to find parking in downtown L.A., some drivers are being spaced out or priced out. How much is the reserved parking? Two fifty a month? He's here. That's him. But we found one man getting his free parking card on the city dime. Not just one car, not two, but at least three. And this one may have been here for quite some time. So you just decided to park them in the city lot? For, for the meantime, yes. For the meantime, nine years, right? Yeah. That's a long meantime, isn't it? This is the Pershing Square garage run by the city of L.A. The money collected here is used to finance city programs for taxpayers. For people working in this area, it's one of the few places to park. Monthly parking is $190. Reserve spots are $250 a month. That is, if you can get one. You don't have any monthly spots available? No. Even daily parking usually fills up by 8 a.m. No parking down below. It's certainly a premium, unless you can get away with it and park for free, like this man, Jose Flores. He made over $100,000 in taxpayer money last year, working for the city of L.A. as a parking manager. Walking again. Most days we saw Flores walking to work from his apartment near downtown, then getting dropped off at the end of the day near his house by one of his employees driving a city car. By the looks of it, you'd think he's gone green and didn't own a car until we caught him red-handed. This vehicle right there, the Mercedes. We found this Mercedes that DMV says is registered to Flores, parked in a pricey 250 bucks a month reserve spot. And we saw it there for over a week. We also found this Saab that DMV records show is registered to Flores, parked on another floor. We put a time-lapse camera on it and watch as we speed up the video, showing the garage filling up with paying customers, parking around a spot where the city receives no money. And finally, this 1965 Ford Falcon. DMV says the car is owned by Flores and hasn't been registered since 2008. If it's been here the entire time, that means Flores could owe the city more than $20,000 in parking fees. Hey, Mr. Flores, David Goldstein with CBS hey, Hello, 2 how News. Are you? All right, how you doing? Excellent. We caught up with him as he was being chauffeured to his house by a city employee in a city car. Nice to have a city employee drop you near your house, isn't it? No, 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 no. How, how? He go into the valley, he go into the valley, and I live over here. I know, I know. How come you don't use any of the three cars that you're storing downtown at the city lot that you run? Oh, well, you know what, it's... They, they Are you paying the city for those spots downtown? No. He admits he doesn't pay even that old Falcon. Really? Have you been storing it there since 2008? Yes, yes. You have? Yeah. Have you paid the city any money for that? No. That would be over $20,000 in parking yeah. fees yeah. to keep that car there for nine years. And there may have been even more cars. Was the city informed that Mr. Flores was parking cars there? Yes. Alan Peshik was a shop steward for a city union and says last November he showed city officials these pictures of the three cars that we found, plus two more that he says Flores was allegedly parking in the garage and nothing happened. Is it right for a parking manager like that to get away with something like that? No, not at all. Yeah, let's take money away from the, you know, the city. Is that right? No, it's not right. But why are you doing it? It's a mistake. A you know? Come yeah. on, a mistake okay. for nine I'm years? We brought the entire case to L.A. City parking officials. They now say they'll investigate and they won't say anything more. I'm David Goldstein, CBS 2 News.